मैडम यू आर अवेयर दैट वेन दिस लाइफ बिजनेस वॉज नेशनलाइज इन द ईयर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स ग्रेट एक्सपेक्टेशंस एंड ग्रेट होप्स वी आर एंटरटेन्ड बाई ऑल मेम्बर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड रीजन्स रिलेटिंग टू दैट मीजर द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर स्टेटेड दैट नेशनलाइजेशन वॉज नेसेसरी एंड इवन इम्परेटिव टू अचीव द ब्रॉड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग इंश्योरेंस बिजनेस to take it to larger areas including the rural areas and to give greater returns to policy holder we have to see after this few years of the working of this organization how far we have achieved this great objectives in the past also we may remember that many criticisms have been made in regard to the working of this organization even the estimates committee has gone into this question and examined in detail the various aspects of the working of this organization that committee has made certain recommendations those recommendations are very important and i will advert to them shortly before i deal with them i wish to make one point clear in spite of the various criticisms and in spite of the various comments made in the house in the press and also through various organizations the working of this organization has not been improved very much the report which we are discussing today relates to the year 1966 obviously it is a very old document and a discussion on this report at this hour perhaps is too late nevertheless a discussion is important if we keep in view some of the fundamental problems that are facing this organization this report was submitted in november 1961 that is to say some 9 months after the period of the working of this organization i do not know why there should be such inordinate delay in submitting reports para the report madam deals with various aspects it does not bring out many things which ought to be properly brought out in a report of this kind and while reading this report i was not able to make out the working of this organization and to get a proper understanding of it for that purpose i have to depend upon other reports and other opinions expressed by various organizations in this country and thereby i have to gather information that is why i have to suggest that the report should be comprehensive para i would refer to some of the 
important problems confronting this organization the most important among them in my opinion is the organizational setup you remember when this matter came up for discussion in both houses of parliament at the time of the nationalization of this life business suggestions were made by certain members i was participating in the other house in the debate then and i suggested that one corporation would not be better and it is desirable to have more than one organization to have more than one corporation i suggested this and a good many members of my party made this suggestion because they thought that there should be some sort of comparative standards to measure the efficiency and performance of this organization without such comparative standards to measure the efficiency and the work of this organization it would be difficult to judge either the efficiency of the organization or the improvement or progress made by the organization therefore we suggested that there should be more than one corporation perhaps there should be three or four now after the experience gained the estimates committee has come to this conclusion that this is a huge monolithic organization whose task has been increasing all the time and that it has not been possible for this organization to fulfill all the expectations and all the tasks and all the requirements that are expected to be fulfilled by this organization and so the estimates committee has suggested a radical change a revolution a revolutionary departure with regard to the organizational setup they have advisedly pointed out two alternatives the first alternative is to set up more than one corporation so that there may be division of work and division of areas there may also be healthy competition between the corporations so that the country and the people may know which corporation is doing better and which is not doing better the other alternative they have suggested is that there should be one organization with a federal structure with semi zonal units functioning therefore i also submit that with this monolithic structure i would be difficult for the organization to carry out its functions more efficiently and in a direction which is healthy and which is progressive in the first instance therefore i would suggest that the ministry should immediately take steps to see that the whole organizational setup is revised and reorganized 
so that there may be better efficiency and understanding maintained into the working of this great institution the organization as it is constituted reveals certain inherent defects the main office is managed by a large number of officials